So you know how we've been bouncing between all these different players, Meta trying to pull off that dual display future, Samsung cooking up its own smart glasses, well Google's finally stepping up with a proper plan of its own, and next year it's basically shaping up to be the everyone shows their cards era. While Meta's over here flexing with dual displays, Google and Samsung are taking a more, let's ease into this approach. Their early glasses are more about brains than flash, AI powered experiences now, fancy displays later, and this is where things get a little confusing, so let's make this simple. Yeah, Samsung is working with Google, but that does not mean they're dropping the same glasses. Samsung's hardware will still be Samsung hardware, Android XR, Samsung branding, their own vibe. Google's glasses, separate thing entirely, just, you know, cousin energy. It really looks like Google and Samsung are kicking things off on the same wavelength, starting with a basic no frills pair of smart glasses before moving into the more advanced stuff. Lightweight, no display, no fancy visuals, just audio, mics, speakers, and a camera. Basically, Meta's Ray-Ban AI, but with Google's Gemini on tap, ask it stuff, get answers instantly, stay hands-free, all that good assistant living in your ear stuff. These are the ones coming first, and Google already teased them earlier this week. Then there's the second track, the part where Google pushes further and lays out where its smart glasses lineup is headed. After the basic no display glasses, Google is planning a pair with a built-in heads-up display. Not full AR goggles, but enough to drop useful info in front of your eye. Maps, translations, small notifications. Google says the first batch of these display-enabled glasses is dropping next year, though they're being super vague about the specifics. One display, one lens very similar to what Meta is cooking with its Ray-Ban display glasses. And after that comes Google's big swing, a true binocular XR headset with displays for both eyes. Targeted around 2027, that's the point where Google moves from simple AI wearables into something much more immersive. Uh, in the meantime, Meta's out here setting the standard whether people like it or not. Those Ray-Bans with Essilor Luxottica, they're basically the poster child for this whole category now. But even with all that momentum, they've got one major Achilles heel. The ecosystem is tiny. If you're not using Meta's own apps, WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, you're kind of locked out. And for a lot of folks, that's a deal breaker. Yet, the numbers don't lie. Since the second gen launched in late 2023, they've moved over 2 million units. Q2 2025 alone, sales tripled, Meta's revenue shot up 22% year over year. Everyone else saw that graph and went, yep, we want in. So yeah, Google's timing makes sense. They're not rushing flashy hardware, they're building the foundation first and they clearly see where this whole thing is headed. Well, that's it for today. Hope to catch you in the next one. Peace.